Today in the Bike Man Technical Tuesday, we are talking about helixes, angles, uh, what the function is that they do. So first let's talk about different helixes here. This one's an Articat. Uh, this one here is a Skidoo. Uh, this is a, a snowmobile with a team style clutch. Uh, and this is uh, actual team helix. So uh, the steeper the angle you have, the faster it'll upshift. Uh, that's why a lot of multi-angle helixes like this team will have a like a 64-42. So in the first angle, the 64 degree angle, that's your low gear, the first one, uh, it's going to upshift very fast, which a lot of times when you're taking off from a stop, uh, the engine has excess torque and you want to take advantage of that torque um, while its engine's coming up instead of just revving up and then going like a straight angle would typically do. Uh, the second angle here is your uh, high gear and the 46 on this particular one is 46 percent of your time is in low gear until you hit high gear. So I got it referenced on here like this 46 percent of it, 54 percent of it. So when the rollers in this portion, uh, this is your low gear, as it's climbing up you'll be faster, faster shift because it's a steeper angle and then a little slower shift and then when it comes time to back shift it'll back shift to here really fast but it ne won't necessarily want to climb back this lower area but when you're going slower you have a little bit of excess torque uh, so you can handle that and you'll have different splits on uh, different helixes but all of these function in about the same way uh, because all CVT clutches perform in a similar way and you can see they all have a slight multi-angle to them. Uh, we don't give out the specs on our bike man helixes because it takes so much time to develop the different angles that we use and we kind of keep them proprietary. Now uh, you'll see that these two helixes look drastically different. And they do look different but their functions are relatively the same. Since this helix sits on the inboard side, so like this is the outside of your clutches over on this side, uh, and this would be towards the shaft coming in like this, and the transmission or gear or whatnot. Uh, and the Articat and Skidoo ones come in from the outside. So now if we look at them, now the shapes look fairly similar. So when you're in low gear, the roller's down here, high gear's the roller up there, low gear the roller's up there, and then it moves to here in high gear. Now, in any engine reverse function, the the engine goes backwards on a two-stroke, so it starts going backwards. And when that happens from low gear, it'll catch in this little notch right here and prevent it upshifting while you're in reverse to limit your speed and uh, give you more torque in reverse. And uh, the other outboard helixes function the same, so the roller will hit this portion before it goes back. So that's our uh, uh, gist of how they work. So the higher the gear, or the higher the degree, the faster it will upshift. Uh, the lower the degree, uh, the slower it will upshift and faster it will backshift. So there you go. Have a great day.